People say inspiration strikes when you least expect it, but I call BS. Ain't nobody got time for that. So that's why in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the top four websites for web design inspiration. Because who needs a professional designer when you've got hundreds of thousands of beautiful websites out there that you can take inspiration from? And then you can just make the website yourself. And if you wanna know how to do that, I will drop a video in the description to one of my other videos called How to Create a Website in 10 Minutes. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial, so it's super easy to follow. So go ahead and check that out. And then you can just take inspiration from one of these top four websites that I'm about to tell you right now. Okay, so website number one is called SiteInspire.com. So I'm just gonna go on over to my computer and type in SiteInspire.com. So SiteInspire is a really cool website and you can search for inspiration based on a certain niche if you just go over to subjects in this little dropdown and you can just pick any one of these subjects. So let's say I wanted to do health and fitness. I would just click on that and then there's gonna be all these websites based on health and fitness. And you can just see which one kind of catches your eye and click on it. And then all you have to do is click on the image again. And that takes you to the actual website and you can kind of scroll around the website and see what it's all about. This one's pretty complex, uh, kind of hard to make something like this, but you can take some of these design elements, how there's lots of space, the text is very basic, it's not bubbly and crazy. So you can take a lot of these elements and put them in your own website and just try to match the style. So I'm just gonna go back and I'm just gonna go back again. And one more time, I'm gonna go back to subjects and let's see what else we got in here. So we've got, let's do technology. So again, lots of technology websites, and you'll see some of them repeat in here. They kind of work for both, but that is totally okay. So I'm just going to scroll down, and let's just pick on one of these, more of a basic website. And again, I'm just gonna click on the image to bring it up. And these are beautiful websites. Okay, so I'm going to X out of this, and let's move on to our second site, which is webdesigninspiration.com. So I'm just gonna open up a new tab, and type in web design inspiration.com. Cool, so this one works kind of the same. You can search by categories up here if you click on categories. And again, they've got all sorts in here, photography, food and drink, uh, music, all sorts of stuff. But you can also click on the mobile or tablet button to see what these websites are gonna look like on mobile and tablet. So right now they're on desktop mode, but if I click on mobile, you can now see what they look like on the mobile view. And this is super important because 52% of global online traffic comes from a mobile device. So that means there's a little bit more people searching the web on their phones than there are on desktop. So it's really important to make sure it looks good on both desktop and mobile. But I'm just gonna go back to desktop and I'm gonna to go to categories again, and I'm just gonna click on one. So let's just do photography. And so we've got a bunch of photography websites in here. Some are really clean and basic. Some are a little more bold, but I am just gonna click on one and show you, you know, let's just go to the one all the way at the top, kind of a wedding looking one. Cool, and again, you can just kind of plunk around the website and interact with it the same way you would any other normal website. And again, just take notes. I mean, how much empty space is there between sections? And what does the text look like? What color is it? Is there a bunch of different types of fonts? Or are they using the same type of font the whole time? Right now I notice we've got this basic uh, type here that kind of looks like Open Sans. And then there's more of a Times New Roman sort of font here that they're using as a secondary accent uh, font. So just take notes on all this type of stuff. And they've got these fade ins as you scroll down the page. So take note on animations as well. Okay, so I'm gonna X out of that and also X out of web design inspiration. And let's go to our third website, which is awards.com. Awards? <laughs> There's three W's in it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to a new tab and I'm gonna type in awwwwords.com 
And this one's a lot like the other two, except for the fact that it is based on nominees and winners of web design contests. So the way to search it, well, you can just scroll down and see some of their featured ones down here. But if you wanna search for something specific, all you do is go to the menu, and then you can just click on winners or nominees. Let's say you've gone through the winners category and you didn't find what you wanted, you can go to the nominees as well. So don't forget to check both. But for now, I'm just gonna click on winners. And then you can just search by categories through the winnings as well. So categories, and let's just say I wanna do fashion. And now there's a bunch of fashion related websites that have actually won awards. So you know that these are good and they work. So let's just click on one. Let's just click on this Pandora one here. And again, just like the others, all you have to do is click on it and that will take you to the website. And then you can just interact with it the same way. Wow, that was a crazy opening animation. <laughs> um, that's pretty difficult stuff to do. Uh, I could teach you guys how to do that in a later video. But again, just pay attention to the style. So when I scroll, these are kind of like sliding in. Yeah, some of these are kind of intense. Uh, so maybe not this one. But again, lots of pinks and greens and blues, like really light pastel colors for these fashion brands. So keep all this in mind and write it down as you're looking at some of these websites. And by the way, guys, you don't just have to get inspiration off of these websites. You can just be in a coffee shop or a bookstore or any place that you think the ambiance is really cool and just pay attention. So what are the colors like in there? How much empty space is there? Just pay attention to all the details and you literally just want to design your website to sort of match that vibe and that style of that physical place. So just walking through life, you can get inspiration. But anyway, let's jump back to it. Okay, so I'm just going to exit out of this one and exit out of awards. And let's just do a new tab and go to website number four, which is templatemonster.com. So I'm just going to type in templatemonster.com and go to that. And this one is actually a website where you can buy template uh, websites already, template themes. and. I'm not even gonna put an affiliate link in here. This is literally just for inspiration. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Uh, so you can search by categories, just by going to categories, the same as all three of the other websites, and you can just click on one. So let's say animals and pets. Everyone loves a good puppy. So uh, let's scroll down and figure out which one we want. So I kinda like this one right here with this dog. So you can just click on that and check it out. And again, you can actually buy these if you really want. Uh, but if you just wanna check out them for inspiration, all you do is just click on live demo. And then you can just scroll around the website like all the others. So all four of these websites are pretty much the same, but they all have different content and material on them. And I'm gonna close out of this because I'm not gonna be buying any of these right now. So yeah, you can close out of that menu just by clicking on that little arrow so you can get a full screen, but interact with the website, see what the buttons do, what color do they turn, do they grow or shrink when you hover over them? So some of these niche websites are gonna act differently than others. So a professional veterinary clinic website might not have a whole lot of animations on it, but a fashion website might. And again, how much space is there? What are the background elements? Are they big blocks of orange with little images behind them? or is it just a solid color? All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit that like button, or if you want more awesome website tips, tricks, tutorials, anything related to making awesome websites, then please smash that subscribe button. You won't be sorry. And rumor has it, for every new subscriber that I get, a baby puppy poses for the perfect teacup picture. So do it for the puppies or do it because you want to make your website super awesome. But either way, I will see you guys on the next video.